Hello, 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 hello. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bobby and I love movies. Today I'm going to be reviewing the film Whiplash. Yes, I know I'm kind of late on this one, but I've had a lot of house of cards to catch up on, okay guys? This is a film that's been very highly requested from you guys, so I was like, hey, let's do it. Before we hop into this review, I want to tell you guys about something really quick. If you're like me, you don't just watch movies to have a good time. You watch them to learn to become a better filmmaker yourself. When making your own films, it can be difficult to get some high production shots for the extremely low budget you'll most likely have. There is an amazing website that can help you with that. It's called Videoblocks.com. Videoblocks is a subscription-based stock media site that gives you unlimited access to over 100,000 HD video clips, After Effects templates. I've been using their service for a while now. You can see a lot of the clips in my previous short films. They have all kinds of great stuff that would take a really long time to shoot yourself, such as time lapses, and shots you couldn't really get, like aerial shots of a city. It's an extremely practical service. You can try it out for yourself. There's a link down in the description. For seven days, you'll be able to download up to 140 clips. That's a lot of free stuff. Take advantage of it, guys. You're welcome. On to the review. I'm just gonna go right into this. Holy shit. This movie. <laughs> Blew my mind. Some of the other reviewers I've seen talking about it said it's the most tense film they saw all year. Yeah. Yeah. How can a movie about a band, not even like a hardcore band, a freaking jazz band, be so gut-wrenchingly tense? There are several scenes in this movie where J.K. Simmons will hold his hand up like this, and they're about to start playing. He just holds it. Feel everyone's tension, and just builds, and builds, and he releases it, and it's like, oh! Ugh. There's so many parts that feel like they just punch you right in the stomach. This movie stars Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons. Miles Teller is in everything right now. He was in Divergent, he's gonna be an Insurgent, he's Mr. Fantastic, he's... This? The thing you guys would probably know J.K. Simmons from is the Spider-Man movies. He was J. Jonah Jameson. By far the best character to come out of the Sam Raimi series. And holy shit, he acts his ass off in this movie. I'm probably gonna be swearing a lot in this review because this movie gets me so fucking hyped. It's basically about this kid, Miles Teller, who goes to the most prestigious music school in the United States. And he really, really, really wants to get into J.K. Simmons' band. You know that guy from Full Metal Jacket? Yeah, that's basically who J.K. Simmons is in this movie. Who the fuck said that? Who's the slimy little communist shit twinkle toad cocksucker down here who just signed his own death warrant? Then why the fuck didn't you say so? I've carried your fat ass for too long, Mets. I'm not gonna have you cost us a competition because your mind's on a fucking Happy Meal instead of on pitch. Mets, why are you still sitting there? Get the fuck out! Every moment he's on screen, he is so incredibly intense. Miles Teller basically has to decide if he wants to have a life or work at becoming the best jazz drummer who has ever lived. Probably 45 minutes of this movie is watching people play music, but it's put together like some of the most intense action scenes I've ever seen. Whiplash won the Oscar for best editing, and oh my god, God, I now understand why. Normally, I dislike movies with lots of fast cuts. This movie understood what fast cuts should be used for. During some of the more intense scenes, every time it cut, it felt like J.K. Simmons was slapping you in the face. One, two, three, four. The performances in this film, I don't even think I need to talk about them. Everyone knows J.K. Simmons did incredible. He won the freaking Oscar for it. Miles Teller does absolutely fantastic. The girl playing the girl he's interested in in this movie did pretty decent as well. Speaking of that, the small amount of romance they had between Miles Teller and that girl was fantastic. It felt so real and raw. You could feel the awkwardness and sexual tension between them and the fact that they really, really were into each other without showing them ever kiss, touch, and it felt like a real conversation between two real people. That's another thing. Every conversation in this movie feels so real. And J.K. Simmons is absolutely hilarious in a terrible, horrible way. I related to Miles Teller's character so much while watching this film. If you're a person who does anything creative, I'm pretty sure you will as well. This movie inspires you to push yourself and push yourself hard while at the same time showing you the consequences of taking it too far. I absolutely love this movie and would definitely recommend every single one of you seeing it. It's only like an hour and 40 minutes, so it's an easy watch. This movie is only like 14 bucks on Blu-ray, just go get it. It's worth your time. I know I'm gonna end up watching this movie so many times. The sound editing is incredible. The cinematography is stellar. They use vibrant, bright colors to really bring out the emotions of the scenes. That part, whenever he puts his bloody hand into that bucket of ice water, that shot though. Okay guys, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. You can hit me up on Twitter at the Bobby Burns and Instagram at Bobby Burns Official. Don't forget about that video blocks link and I will see you later guys. Peace out. Oh, no, it's fucked.